The tool of this trial is to help us understand the capability of robotic and autonomous systems to operate in a contested environment. The enemy will always get a vote. We always need to understand how robust these systems are to operate when potentially effects being brought to bear on them. Any future conflict is going to have environments which are contested, uh, GPS may be denied, communications may be denied. What we're seeing here are efforts to understand any vulnerabilities in current autonomy technologies, identify those gaps, and then have the three nations work together to address those gaps to make our systems resilient. Science and technology tell us are going to be an absolute game changer and give us operational advantage. The ability to deploy different payloads across a larger battle space will give commanders options. Uh, and clearly if it's a robot, so I can send that places where I wouldn't necessarily want to send a soldier. We are pushing the boundaries of where ST is taking us as we experiment with these autonomous systems. We have worked beautifully with the UK and our US partners under the AUKUS banner. We've seen a brilliant example of uh, collaboration between three different nations. Um, it's a good example where each nation has brought their own kind of benefits to, to this exercise. So UK, US bringing their own um, autonomous platforms and Australia providing the, the counter effects. It's a transformational capability that we're introducing to armies across all three nations. Uh, what we're getting here is we're bringing together the technologies, we're bringing the know-how all into one place and that helps us all progress towards providing the capability our warfighters need. It's fantastic that we're able to um, look at each other's capabilities, look how we can complement them and work together in order to develop autonomous systems for the future.